Let's do this, for example, 315 uh, divided by 15. Yeah, and that's, that's equal to 21. You'll notice if you just did the digital roots on these, uh, this would be a nine, and this would then be divided by uh, one plus five is a six. That doesn't equal three, does it? That makes no sense. And uh, no, this doesn't work with division. Uh, you would have to turn a division into a multiplication. So we'll just bring that 15 onto the other side there. So we've got 21 times 15. Let's check that through. So if we do that the other way, 21 times 15, then I say that's 315, and we should get the right answer here. Uh, that's a three for the digital root, multiplied by six, which gives me 18, which ends with a nine. Hey, that's exactly what I wanted. Yes. Do you ever use this? Look, you say you love it, but do you ever use it like in a practical way? No, 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 no you've caught me out. I'd use a calculator. Yes, of course, of course I would use a calculator. But I think it's worth knowing, despite the fact that we all have calculators in our pockets, I think it's a lovely fact uh, that it's a good fact to have in your pocket alongside your actual calculator. We saw every number can be written as a multiple of nine plus its digital root. So it's a multiple of nine and then the digital root is what you have left over. What that means is the digital root is the remainder after division by nine. That is the definition of a remainder. So it's the remainder after division by nine. If you sum up the digits of a number, you get the remainder. If you have a remainder of one, you have a digital root of one, a remainder of two, you have a digital root of two. If you have a digital root of nine, that means you have nine left over. That means it is a multiple of nine. So that's a good way, that's a good test for finding multiples of nine as well. All multiples of nine add up to nine. 1,496, and there is only one perfect number between 1,000 and 10,000, and that is 8,128.